Oh gosh. Now we're gonna be in trouble again, Thelma. Carol Spots and her friend Susan Barentine call themselves the real life Thelma and Louise. The 1990s movie characters gained fame for running from the law. That's right, you never know what we might do. Carol and Susan are driving 70 miles round trip, slipping across the border into Idaho to get a substance that is banned back in their home state of Washington. We followed them into the deep dark corners of the dishwasher detergent aisle. They're on the hunt for detergent made with phosphates, chemicals known to get your dishes clean. How many do we have? They're bringing the dishwasher soap back to Spokane because phosphate detergents cannot be sold there, although it is still legal to use them. Here's the problem. When phosphates go down the drain, they end up in rivers and lakes and cause algae to grow. The algae steals oxygen from fish and other aquatic life, and they can die. That's why phosphates were banned nationwide from laundry detergents in the 90s. This month, they've been banned in dishwasher detergent in Washington state and at least 15 others. Carol worries about the environment, but says the non-phosphate cleaners just don't work, leaving a film on everything from spatulas to her glasses. So would you serve out of that? No, I would not. To be perfectly honest, I'd be horrified. Her cereal bowl doesn't even look like it was washed. Most women aren't going to put up with this. I'm a guy, I wouldn't put up with that. That's just kind of <laughs> nasty. Detergent manufacturers have been working on the problem. They admit that some of their early non-phosphate products didn't work very well, but they say the new formulas hitting store shelves work a lot better. Carol Spots is still smuggling her soap from Idaho. Carol Spots like spotless dishes. She says she'd be happy to use the new detergents once they have a more spotless record. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho.